Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add a Japanese keyboard on your Windows 10 computer. So perhaps you have a Japanese keyboard layout already and you just need to install a language pack. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu and select the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it should say settings so go ahead and just left click on that select the time and language tile and then on the left side select the language and now on the right underneath preferred languages click on the little plus box that says add a language so at this point just go ahead and just type in Japanese and we're going to go select it and then we're going to select next and they're going to present you with some optional features that if you choose to install them or not and that'll be the next screen we're going to come across here generally speaking I don't really change too much of that usually I go with what they recommend so I'm not going to change it as my Windows display language here but we're just going to go ahead and select install at this point and it should take a little bit of time to install so just be patient
Okay, so this seems to be taking quite a long time to uh, finish downloading here, but but just to give you an idea, if you waited till it was finished installing, you see how it says English down here in the bottom right corner. If you selected that and just left clicked on it, you'd be able to go ahead and select Japanese. And then once you did that, there'd be a letter A listed here. So this is still installing, but we can go minimize out of here. And if we went ahead and just selected this, you can see it's still waiting to install. But once it was installed and it has been selected, as you can see here, if you opened up Notepad or something like that and started typing using your keyboard, it would start appearing in Japanese characters. So pretty straightforward processor, guys. This might just take a very long time to download, and I don't really want to bore you guys too much with that. So again, a very straightforward process, and then once you're done, you go ahead and switch your language down the bottom right corner of your screen. So as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.